People may well ask why Bach is a big deal. And for musicians, Bach is the greatest composer who ever lived. He writes an extraordinary melody, the best. All musicians, no, all listeners pick up on that. You just know Bach when you hear it. Even if you don't know who it is, you know Bach. Because everyone, most people, unless you've never had access to a radio or seen a film, you'll get Bach's melody somewhere. But then there's also the rhythm and the harmony and the, okay, you, you know the great Flemish painter Bruegel. You can take pretty much anything, a little segment from the painting and turn it into a painting on its own. So you can do the same thing with Bach, okay? So Philip Glass, you know, the great minimalist who you know through films, right? His music is like you just get two bars of Bach and repeat it endlessly. And he's regarded as one of the great composers. Go figure. So that, that's how extraordinary Bach is. And, and we can prattle on about why, but really, at the end of all the words is the music. So many people say that Bach is, you know, God to musicians. Bach would have been horrified by that because only God was God. Once we start really getting in, inside the Bach machine, we've got to understand why Bach was writing this music. His great raison d'etre was for God. Let's start. Where, where was Bach born? He was born in 1685. The beginning of the Baroque era, he was born in Protestant, Lutheran, reformist, northern Germany. The wonderful thing about Luther, unlike the Calvinists who banned organs, the playing of organs smashed them, like destroyed them, tragedy. Luther considered that the only thing second to God was the expression of the adoration of God through music. He wrote at least three grand musical dramas that are called Passions, based on the Gospels according to the disciples, and only two survive, St. Matthew and St. John, and the greatest works of musical art. Full stop, according to whom? According to me. In some areas in northern Germany, if you were called Bach, that was uh, synonymous with being a musician. Generation after generation of artisan musicians, that creates a depth of knowledge. He wrote for oboe, he wrote for many different types of keyboard instruments. He was an extraordinary organist. He was the greatest improviser of his time. And I think that's why a lot of jazz musicians adore Bach. It's not only, you know, um, elite, snobby, classical musicians like me <laughs> that worship God. I mean Bach. In a piece like the Andante from the A minor sonata for solo violin, you hear Bach writing for two voices, but played by a single violin. And, th and that's an indication of Bach's genius, that he was able to think on so many different levels, but that he had such a command over the instruments that he was writing for. Yeah, I don't, we don't know, I don't know what makes it so incredible. The pain and anguish that he can express yet also he can express ineffable joy. So he was left an orphan when he was 10, and then he, he married his first wife, and she died, more pain and anguish, and then he had a lot of kids, something like 20 kids, nine of whom were left when he died. And so each child that dies is gonna bring him incredible pain. Yeah, he's got good music foundations and he feels a lot. After his death, his um, reputation, let's say musical reputation, was, was in tatters and people didn't listen to Bach. And it's a bell ring of the changing of the guard where this old music 
the fugue, the complexity, the worship of God, everything Bach stood for is now gone, it's died. Science, reason, anti-religion. And this is where you get the Rococo, you know, singer-songwriter kind of thing of simple harmony, beautiful, pretty, pretty melodies, and forget the worship of God issue. That is the change into um, the classical era and therefore the romantic era. The world moved on and it took a while before the depth and intrinsic beauty of Bach, let's call it the universal truth of Bach's music was able to resonate. It's good to try to learn to listen to Bach properly. On your own, late at night, have some wine and really try to concentrate. Concentrate spiritually, sonically, and then suddenly this door will open and you'll agree with most musicians that Bach is the man, the person, the thing. Bach's the thing. <laughs>